Hey guys, it's Bex here and welcome to the second in a three video podcast mini series with raw food chef and detox expert Michael Green of everydaydetox.org and Everyday Detox here on YouTube. The playlist for all three of the videos in the series plus more videos on nutrition and detox will be linked at the end. Please enjoy this video and leave your comments and questions for us below. I want to get into the next topic and um, you know, we just covered the, uh, wiping the spit off off the baby. We just, we just covered the cleanse detox talk, which I'm sure is going to bring up a thousand more questions <laughs> because everybody really wants those cleanses Perhaps. to work. They're expensive. They're exciting. This, People invest in them. The stuff in the bottles doesn't work. I got to tell you, it generally, there's very few things you put in that cleanses you. Remember when you, you had gone to go interview some doctor, I won't say who it is. I actually cut it out of the podcast because I don't, I don't really know this person, but, um, they, uh, you said, oh, he's a doctor. He's like a holistic doctor and he sells some detox thing. And I remember he was a little mean to you. And that's why I initially probably had a prejudice against him. But so I, I, so I went, so I looked at his thing online and immediately I looked at it and I was like, this guy doesn't know what, he doesn't know what he's doing selling this, all this junky powder crap in a bottle. Like that's not how it works. So that stuff, that stuff doesn't work. This is what I want to hear though. I mean, these are, this is the answers. Look at you. You're falling apart too. These are the answers that we want because um, people are investing their money and they want to know, is this, is this junk? Is it something that's beneficial? So leave the juice cleanses alone, leave the packaged or prepackaged powder supplement stuff alone. Maybe just go for just clean eating. There's certain... Yeah, there's certain things in in case in certain cases that work. Psyllium and bentonite cleanses, different enzyme therapies can work. Um, heavy doses of probiotics can help situations. There's of course there's different modalities that can help. But really, when you think about it, like we de-stress when we go on vacation, when we remove all the stresses of life. Some people get all stressed when they go on vacation, but you know, once you're on the beach, we de-stress when we're when we remove all the stresses of life. We detox when we remove all of the things that toxify our bodies. You know, that's where we detox when we go on vacation from toxic things. That's the simplest way. Leaving, leaving things out. That's the simplest way. We just talked about the, the effectiveness, the worthiness of these detoxes, these three, five, seven, 21, 90, 120 day detoxes, cleanses, whatever. Um, and you started talking about, uh, how, you can really tell if it's working or not. And I think that lends itself to the discussion that I want to have now about supplements. Yeah, it does. Um, I've had this discussion before with other experts. Um, and I want to know your take and, and my audience more wants to know your take on, do you think supplements are necessary? Do they work? Do we need them? I think that some supplements work and I think that sometimes they're necessary hundred percent. Um, I, I, you know, I had never in, in 21 years of eating healthy and being vegan and, and, and all that, I never had my blood tested. It was just, it, it's so it was, I, there wasn't a, a, an opportunity for me to have it done. It was just too expensive. It was just always an, an added expense. And I, and i I've, I've wanted to have it done over the years. So recently I had it done because now you can order tests online and, uh, you, there are ways to get in certain States you need a doctor. And to walk into a doctor's office in New York City and shake their hand and become their patient, it's upwards of $400. And I'm like, that's just to get, that's just to have them hit your knee with the little thing and then like look down your throat and go. And then the blood work is extra. So I was like, I don't want to spend $1,000. I, I just want to spend like 400 bucks. So um, I found a thing online. I, is that how much it was? Uh, it was less than that. The blood, there's all, there's a great website called healthcheckusa.com, I think. And uh, you can order stuff. If you're in New York, New Jersey, you can't. You have to do tricks, and I did tricks. Um, it's not like illegal or anything, but you're not allowed to order them in these states because you must have a doctor to order blood work. I don't understand what that's about. It just sounds like nonsense to me. Anyway, I had so anyway, I got the blood work done. I for over a year or just about a year, I stopped all supplements because and all foods that contain supplements, like any green powders that had a supplement or thing in it. Um, because I really wanted to see what was going on. And I thought, I was, remember, I, I think I told you I was getting, I felt very overwhelmed and I was forgetting things all of the time. And I thought. Well, before we go on, I want you to define supplement for people because, okay, so you're having a green powder yeah. that 
did it have supplements in it? So define supplements. So well, supplements are we can extractives. Make the I'm not talking about powdered barley grass juice or spirulina or something like those. Might be supplemental foods because they're dried and things like that, right. and they're not. You know, they're they're not um, apples. You know, it's not like regular food. It's like very supplemental food, um, but. Uh, supplements are things that are extracted. It's when you're extracting nutrients from plants or or stone. Sometimes there's, there's uh, things that are extracted from stone, which is not the best idea. Um, but uh, it's it's we're talking about vitamin and mineral extractions. So what we think of as vitamin and mineral supplements, that's what I'm talking about. But sometimes those powders are put into quote unquote whole foods products. So that's what I meant by avoiding those things. So I was avoiding those as well. I was avoiding nutritional yeast and things like that because those are supplemented with B vitamins sometimes. So so I didn't take anything and I, I had to go see a doctor for another reason. I had a little uh, emergency, external emergency. So I went to see a doctor and I was He's talking to me. He's taking my health history, and he was like, and I, I explained to him that I was not taking any supplements because I, I wanted to have my blood work done and I wanted to see it. And he just thought I was out of my mind. He was like, he goes, you realize that running your vitamin and mineral reserves down is not going to serve you in any way, right? And I was like, yeah, but I'm a practitioner and I use my body as a barometer. <laughs> You're doing going. a science experiment. He just thought I was nuts, <laughs> but um. Uh, so anyway, I had my blood work done and uh, I thought I was going to be vitamin B12 deficient because I was forgetting things. And it turns out I was just looking at too much Facebook. That was the official diagnosis, um, <laughs> my own diagnosis. But um, So I was getting overwhelmed with all the computer nonsense. But um, I was not vitamin B12 deficient, which speaks a lot because I have taken some B12 supplements in the past, but it had been a long time since I had taken anything. Um, I attribute not being B12 deficient to having good intestinal flora because of all the fermentation stuff that I, I work with and taking probiotics and, and keeping a clean body. Uh, but I was deficient in vitamin D. Um, okay. But that's very yeah, common. Extremely common. Anyone that lives over the 40th parallel is not going to be getting sufficient amounts of vitamin D through sunlight. So, um, so yes, yeah, so I take right. vitamin D3. I think um, the statistic is, is near 30% of all adults in our geographic area, are vitamin D deficient? Yeah. And it's or a big it problem. I mean, it's so connected to bone density. It's so connected to uh, cancer prevention. And they, like vitamin D is a very, very important vitamin. So um, we should have never moved away from the equator. I don't know what we were thinking. Uh, so anyway, um, so do I think it's necessary? Yes. I do think that uh, in some cases people can cover all of their bases. I obviously covered just about all of my bases with the exception of vitamin D by living on a plant-based, almost all raw food diet, vegan. Um, but uh, supplements I find to be um, to be highly therapeutic, uh, especially... Well, let me talk about this then. You do not make or sell supplements no. at all. Um, you are not affiliated with a supplement, com supplement company. No. So what are your recommendations for specific brands and if you don't have a specific brand maybe then what should people be looking for in supplements period i, I do have a specific brand i like innate response formulas i-n-n-a-t-e i like them because they're 100 percent food based and i like them because um um they're 100 percent plant-based as well and they also put in all the cofactors so when you're isolating nutrients, you can create imbalances in the body usually nothing terrible but uh, you don't assimilate it as well as we would like if we're taking one of the regular mainstream brands of vitamins and minerals we may not assimilate it as well if all the cofactors aren't there cofactors are all the other different elements that we would find in the whole food to assimilate that nutrient um, so they do a very good job of trying to balance that stuff out and they add different herbal things in there too and uh, I, I just think it's a very very good company um, there's another one that I've not used at all but everyone at our office really likes called Premier Research Labs I think and they sell some okay. very good supplements uh, and people have had their blood done um, their nutrition values done before and after and it's it's been great especially especially for B vitamins really the, the things that people are most deficient in are B vitamins and vitamin D those are the things people are okay. most deficient in. Some people are deficient in magnesium, but if anyone's eating a plant-based diet, that should not be a problem because magnesium is just abundant in plants. Um, I remember in, in culinary school, we took some fortified cereal, we smashed it up, and then we took a high-powered magnet and we pulled all of the uh, fortified minerals out. And you can see the shreds of metal with your eyes. They were taking shreds of metal from stone, you know, from like from metal refining. 
And that's how they were supplementing cereal. And they were regular commercial cereals. And they were way too big. They were completely non-absorbable. So they were boosting what it said on the label. But it was from an inorganic source that your body was not able to assimilate anyway of a, of a particle size that you aren't able to assimilate anyway. Um, that's that's a super important point for um, especially for parents I think that are buying stuff for their kids and th with the cereals because they're fortified with all of these extra vitamins are your children's bodies actually able to even absorb the vitamins that they're throwing in there so it, it's useless if your body can't use it and that's what's happening with a lot of foods yeah. um, especially kids foods yeah uh, because that's like a big selling point and it makes parents feel good. So they're getting the, you know, juice in a bag that's fortified with all this extra stuff or the cereal in a box and it, it's still just junk. That's why juice There's is nothing of value in it. That's why juice is still the ultimate superfood because Dr. Norman Walker, who he always uh, used to um, stress the importance of turning those minerals from the soil, from that inorganic form of, of rock and stuff like that, and transforming it through a plant into an organic absorbable form. You know, so when you're taking these concentrations of deep green vegetables and, and other root vegetables, and um, we're, we're taking those live active minerals that are now readily absorbable from the body rather than just eating coral, like coral calcium or something like that, which is, is it's much harder to assimilate. And can leave deposits, can leave obstructions. Makes so much sense once again. I feel like we're getting uh, more easily absorbed answers <laughs> <laughs> are coming from us. It's from, because, from it's you, because I'm back on supplements. I wasn't on supplements for a year. I have to tell you, you know, <laughs> but when you do think like if people – and I really want to get a vitamin B12 shot. I've never had one. But taking vitamins again, I got to tell you, my mood is elevated. You know, they can – there, there's some therapeutic value to taking supplements. You know, even though I was covering all my bases, taking B vitamins, I feel like I think more clearly and I feel better. Even though I was, there was nothing wrong in paper, I feel better. You know, it's the same thing that happened with me with the uh, with the placenta encapsulation. I can't pinpoint it. I I can't you know give it all the credit because I didn't do a scientific experiment and you know have a control and all of that, but my mood was so much better um, when I was on them compared to after having other uh, my other babies. And since I've been off them, I feel like there's a change. Mm -hmm. Again, completely unscientific. I guess it has a higher concentration of iron or like readily available iron, uh, B vitamins, all kinds of good stuff. So who I'm knows? Sure, I'm sure it does. The, probably those two things specifically. Some yeah. Yeah, I should sell my placenta. Premium. Become a placenta farmer? <laughs> Artisanal placenta? Placenta farmer. That is so great. <laughs> I love the sound of that. You know that shit would sell too. I can too. be a placenta farmer. Remember to visit Everyday Detox on YouTube. You'll find the links in the video description below. And visit BexLife.com to sign up for more info like this and lots of free goodies delivered straight to your inbox. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon in another Bex Life video.